Now the first thing you need to do is get Cisco Viral. To get Cisco Viral, go to viral.cisco.com. That takes you to the Viral website. Click on Get Viral, and then either purchase a Viral license, or once you have a Viral license, click Login to log into your account. So I'm gonna log in with my username and password. And now that I've done that, I can click My Account. And I can now download Viral. There's also a link to the license file, but initially I'm gonna click Download Viral to download the Viral software. In my example, I'm gonna download the Viral Personal Edition OVA. In this example, I'm not running Viral on an ESXi server. If I was doing that, I would download this version. I'm gonna run Cisco Viral on a desktop product. In other words, on VMware Workstation. So I'm gonna click Download. Click Accept a License Agreement. And then save Viral to my local computer. So I simply need to wait now for the download to complete. Notice please that Viral supports VMware Fusion for a Mac, a VMware Workstation, and VMware Player. So you can use any one of those products with Cisco Viral. Once you've downloaded your OVA, in VMware Workstation or VMware Player, go to File Open to import the OVA into VMware Workstation or VMware Player. Browse to where you've downloaded the file and click Open to import it into a VMware Workstation. I'm gonna import it with the default name and you can store the virtual machine anywhere on your hard drive. I'm gonna use this path for the storage of my virtual machine and I'm gonna click import to import it into a VMware workstation. You simply need to wait now for the OVA to be imported into VMware Workstation Pro or Player. Okay, so Viral has been imported. These are the default settings for the virtual machine, eight gig of RAM, four processors, 68 gig of disk space, and we've got five network adapters. If your virtual machine supports it, you can increase the amount of RAM used by Cisco Viral. On the Viral website, we can see the prerequisites for Viral. The amount of RAM required for VMware Workstation is eight gig of RAM as a minimum, four CPUs and 100 gig disk space is recommended. So if your computer supports it, you can increase the amount of RAM available to the virtual machine. In this example, I'm gonna leave it at the default. I can now power on the virtual machine. VMware will boot up the virtual machine. And as you can see here, this is an Ubuntu virtual machine. So Viral is running within an Ubuntu virtual machine, which is running within a VMware Workstation, and in this example, is hosted on Windows. The virtual machine will boot up. You simply need to wait for that process to complete. We can see that Viral initial configuration settings are being applied. A Viral welcome screen is displayed. We're told that we'll be asked for information required to prepare the Viral system. We'll be asked for the primary network, passwords, and other information. After the configuration is provided and confirmed, the system will apply it. Once that process is complete, the web interface will become available and we'll be able to complete the deployment and activate the product. This is a mandatory process that takes between five and 10 minutes. So I'll click OK. We're told that Control P or Control N can be used to navigate fields. We can also use Tab to switch between input fields and buttons. We can use Spacebar to select items. 
and we can press return or enter to advance to the next screen. So I'm gonna select next to go to the next screen. Host information is displayed here, including the host name, domain name, and NTP server. Press enter to go to the next screen. Viral supports multiple ethernet interfaces. So on the virtual machine, by default, we have these five ethernet adapters. Ethernet zero is gonna be our primary network interface. So I'm gonna go to the next screen. You could use a dynamic or static IP address. I'm gonna select static and specify the IP address of this virtual machine. It's gonna be 192.168.1.245. The gateway is gonna be 192.168.1.249. First DNS server is gonna be Google and I'll set to the secondary DNS server to Google as well. Select next to go to the next screen. Default passwords are displayed here. I'd recommend that you take a screenshot of these passwords if you're going to use the default passwords. Otherwise you could change them if you want to. I'm gonna stay with the defaults and go to the next screen. Now you can enable clustering with viral. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna enable cluster mode. Notice we also told that we should not enable this if we're not sure. So I'm simply gonna to go to the next screen. I'd also suggest that you take a screenshot of the summary information. So I'll do that here. Hostname is viral, domain name in my example is viral.info, primary interface is ethernet zero. This is the IP address and subnet mask for my server gateway, DNS servers, NTP server, and password information. So I'm gonna select confirm and exit. Viral will then apply the configuration settings. You simply need to wait for these configuration settings to be applied to your viral server. Once a viral has completed the configuration, it will reboot, so VMware reboots, Ubuntu is rebooted. The Ubuntu operating system is now booting up. An Ubuntu login prompt is displayed. Notice this message. We can manage a viral using the user workspace manager at the IP address of the server and we can log in with these credentials. So that is the URL, username and password that we'll use to log in to the viral system and configure it for instance with licensing. I can log in to the viral prompt with the username viral and the password is uppercase viral. Try that again, so it's viral uppercase viral. Notice we can see in the output, this is the IP address of the primary interface. Other interface IP addresses are displayed as well. So ifconfig more will display something very similar. We can see various bridge interfaces. We can see a Docker interface. And here once again, we can see ethernet zero. This is the primary interface that we'll use. Now I need internet connectivity for the a licensing system. So what I'll do is ping google.com and notice I do have internet connectivity. So that's good. I'll be able to license the viral server.